And there, there we are live on Facebook. <laughs> so welcome everyone. It's uh, Tuesday. I messed this up last week. <laughs> Tuesday, pop-up Q&A. Great time to get some question an questions answered. I'll take a peek and give you my energetic perspective by tapping into your energy field. So we show up here every Tuesday at noon. At least we'll be here for the next couple of weeks, I believe, here at noon. And um, and then on Friday, for Friday's inspiration at 11.11. But let's not get confused. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. So great to see so many of you here. You have questions. <laughs> I have answers. So post your questions. We can start looking at what's going on with you uh, so that you can start leading the life of your dreams. Hey, um, Michelle, I think that's Michelle, MS Spy. I'll have to start remembering your handles. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys got? Maybe I should have grabbed my glasses. Hang on. Hold on. We got to grab glasses here. Hang on. Right over here. All right. Okay. Got my big glasses today. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got? Questions, anybody? Hey, Jen. Uh, let's see. Questions, questions. You can post these on Facebook and um, Instagram. Yes, we missed you. Missed me last week, right? <laughs> no, I was here last week. Missed me for Friday's inspiration. Okay. Let's take this thing off. Okay, there we go. Questions? Do you want me to just take a peek at somebody? I have a new person. I think um, Vida uh, Plenebab, what I can, can't see, Plenem Bemistar. Would you like me to take a peek at something? New people are the new targets. <laughs> and here's a Maria. I don't know you either. So, Maria, and here, here's another one. Al can whoever you are. So let's do this Maria. Um, you don't have a specific question. You're waving. Hey there. So uh, I'm going to take a peek. And um, ideally, you came here because you have some insight. You want some insight into what's going on in your life. So let's see what Maria is working on. Let's see. Some heart stuff. So in your heart. Out to that third layer. So there's... Um, some stuff you're working on your heart relates to a lot of judgments you're holding in your heart space. And um, so I'm, as I'm talking, I'm going to just help you clear some of these things. Yeah, you have really high expectations, but they're not your expectations. They're the expectations of your, I was going to say of your mother. <laughs> I was going to say of others, but your mother was starting to come out. Uh, and it is the expectations of your mother. Um lots of expectations from her. So these are old judgments. These judgments start like from a really young age. And um, even as we grow into adulthood, we still feel that pressure of our parents uh, caving in <laughs> and making us feel guilty and wrong for not maybe going their path or their way. So um, let's see. I'll do this a little bit there. So we're just going to clear that. Um, there's a lot of where, where you're, you motivate yourself through a lot of anger, anger at your heart, where you kind of like crack the whip to maybe then you'll get that thing done that you want, you want to get done. So um, we'll just clear some of those, um, that anger at yourself, clear some of that. And you know what's really helpful is when um, you can give some kind of feedback here. Um, I already know this stuff works, but other people maybe not so sure. So if you're new, you you really won't won't know. <clears throat> so if you can share what corresponds in your life to what I'm talking about, it's it's really helpful for other people. Uh, so let's see what else. Um, So you have, um, six, five. 
So there's also the other reason why you're you're hard on yourself. Is there's people corded at your heart chakra. That's your mom. Looks like your partner as well. And um, not sure who the other one is, but I'm just going to help you take that out of your heart. So what happens is they plug into your heart chakra and then they like pull on that and make you feel kind of guilty as a way of motivating you to do things their way. So it's really hard to stand in your power when other people feel like they're controlling you or manipulating you. So we're just going to pull that energy out. And then there's another, some other cording going on at your root. And what will happen when people cord to your root, like maybe you're more stable than some other people. And so they'll cord to your root chakra as a, trying to create more stability in their life. But what ends up happening when people do that is that when they're having a bad day, you're going to have their bad day. So we're going to clear them out of your root chakra. <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of big. Somebody, um, it kind of seems like a, someone very childlike, um, but maybe they are a big person that can really, they need to take care of themselves and stop relying on you for so much support. Okay. So that looks better. Well, um, Maria, maybe you can tell me if you notice a difference, maybe feeling calmer or lighter. And um, if anybody else has a question, post it while we're waiting for Maria to give us some feedback. Uh, here's a by Vida Plena, blah, blah, blah. Um, how can one know your Christ consciousness level? Well, you can count. So I don't usually measure Christ consciousness, but I, I measure how um, your level of consciousness, maybe that's Christ consciousness. Um, but let's measure yours, if, since you asked. <laughs> so um, and I'm going to measure consciousness and just see if that's different than Christ consciousness. They're probably the same. Uh, so your consciousness level uh, so I'm going to measure percentage, like from 0 to 100. Is it about 50%? So let's see where Christ consciousness is with you. So that's at 15%. So they're not the same. So thank you for letting me discover that right here, right now, <laughs> in front of all of you. So consciousness and Christ consciousness are two different things. And... Um, and then let me measure enlightenment because when someone that I'm working with measures or maybe they do an energy temperature report and they're already at 100% consciousness, the next thing that I like to measure is enlightenment, how enlightened you are. So since we have, now, now that might be the same as Christ consciousness. So let's see um, for you where that level is. If it's at 15%, then we're going to know that they're the same thing. So um, enlightenment for you, yes, that's at 15%. So enlightenment and Christ consciousness are the same. Thank you for letting me discover that <laughs> for all of you and for myself. So um, that's how you know. Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, what other con questions we have here. Miss Z. Can you look into the energy between me and my fiance? Ah, oh, very good. Okay, well, this is where, <clears throat> um, okay, so, okay, let, let, I was gonna explain a bunch of stuff, but let's not, I'll just uh, look. Um, so you are not courting to him, which is good, but he is corded at your solar plexus, which means there's a level of where he wants to control you. Um, so let's pull him out of there. No one likes to be controlled, especially in a relationship. This is where, you know, oftentimes people start to lose their identity in a relationship. They start to merge with the other person. And 
so you don't want that um Okay, so that's the only place he was courted. And so now he's not courted. And uh, what you can do, uh, what else you can do, um, Z, for this is to create an avatar for your relationship space. Hang on, let me turn off the heater, all these unknown things here. So that should go off in a second. Sorry about all the distractions. Um, so I'm not quite home yet. But anyway, um, we were doing an avatar for your relationship space, or your we space. So this is a great way of working um, kind of on your partner without actually working on them. Uh, but it's a way to improve the relationship by clearing an avatar that represents your we space or your um, relationship space. So just making sure, actually hang on. There. Um, so the, the, it's, it's grounded, it's got good earth energy, there is a worry circle that goes out to that third layer. So um, being a little worried or concerned that you are um, going to lose your power in this relationship space. So, um, I mean, that already showed up in the solar plexus. So we're just going to clear the worry circle right there. Great. At the root. Okay, great. And then... Um, there's some energy at the heart space out to that third layer. There's some anger. So maybe, um, and this would apply to both of you, when you enter this relationship space, you kind of beat yourselves up. Like you make, you're kind of hard on, on yourselves. Maybe thinking you should be doing more of this or more of that or not doing it right or somehow making yourselves wrong. And maybe doing that to each other as well. So we're going to clear that out of the heart space. Okay, great. So as you bring this up through the seven, two, three, three, four, five. Okay, great. So more energy in the third layer of the aura. So that's more of that power. So you don't want to feel powerless in this space. You want to feel inspiring to each other, uplifting each other not pushing each other down. Um, three. Yeah, the rest looks clear. And then the circle of reciprocity. So that's kind of blocked right at the shoulder. So maybe there's not the giving that there was before you were engaged. <laughs> so let's bring that energy out the right arm. So this is something you can do for yourself. See, in the left, see, there's no receiving. So maybe you guys are blaming each other for not giving to each other when really that you're not able to receive. So if you can't receive, then where's the giving going to be? I mean, you know, you can give, but then you're going to blame each other for not giving because really you just can't receive. So let's clear that so you can both receive, you can both receive, give and receive. Heart there we go okay cool well congratulations that you're engaged awesome I don't know when this happened or how long ago but that sounds like a beautiful thing all right give me some feedback about that if it's accurate um, okay uh, you so I believe it wants some help with their mom and their energy so this is the same thing we can do the same thing um, with you and your mom, the we space. And so the we space is going to represent between you and your mom. So you can do this with any two people. So um, it's not grounded. The space is not grounded. So let's get that space grounded. See, this is really less about your mom. A lot of people try in, in relationships, they try to control the other person, make the other person do certain things so that they can feel better it's it's not about that it's about that other person is often a mirror 
generally, almost always, <laughs> uh, a mirror for what's going on in here. So we take care of this, we take care of the Wii space, and it almost always takes care of what's going on out here. If there's still issues, then you know that that's on the other person and that's, that's up to them, that's on them. So if things are not working out, you've done all this stuff, you're clearing yourself, cleared the avatar, still a problem, then that's a good sign, it's just not working. Um, I was just talking about relationships in general, not about you and your mom, although it could be, you know, it could be like, sometimes we just have to get away from our families. They're like, um, not much you can do and they're not willing to change. So, um, okay. So we got grounding, we got earth energy. There is that fear of stepping into your power. So when you're with your mom, you probably feel like five, you feel like a five-year-old with your mom. Okay, so we're just clearing that energy out of your root. Okay, awesome. And then, um, so seven. So there's also not much permission um, to, to have this relationship space. So there's a space right at the crown of the avatar that we're clearing so that you can both have permission to step in this space and have a relationship. Uh, seven, six, five. More energy at the heart, all the judgments, um, making yourself wrong, and then you tend to make each other wrong. So it's not about the other person. You just take care of yourself. And like, just imagine if everybody on the planet just took care of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> things would be so much better. But we're so many people are just on the outside trying to control everything else that's going on out here. Like if they can just control everything else, then they'll be fine. But that's the opposite. So um, let's see a circle of reciprocity, giving and receiving good. And there's more powerlessness in the aura third layer of the aura so and if any of you want to um, know how to do this for yourself if you're if this is new to you there's the 20 minute it's a free 20 minute meditation that also has a portion towards the end to help raise your money vibration the process that we're using for an avatar is the same as we do for ourselves we clear ourselves first and then we clear the avatar. So you can tell the difference. Okay, great. Okay, good. So if we could get some feedback from you, I believe, and uh, let me know if that felt accurate. Yes, you're welcome, Vida Planeta, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you're welcome for letting you know. Miss Ilea, yes, she agrees, thank you on the 19th. So that means you got engaged on the 19th, which was uh, what that's well, almost like eight days ago. Congratulations. She feels a difference. Awesome. Okay. I believe so she has dementia. Okay. So you could feel a difference. Good. Yeah. That's a lot of that powerlessness and, um, yeah, as, as her, as her mind continues to deteriorate, um, with this space cleared, then you'll be able to enter this space and not take any of it personally, you know, that you'll just know that this is a part of the, this disease of the brain deterioration, and you're not going to take it so personally. And you'll be able to um, handle it a lot better. So best of luck with that. Sorry to hear. Um, Questions? Any other questions? Stark plumbing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call in another new person that I've not seen on here before. Um, okay, let's see if Al Kantar and Wazar. Um, if you're still on, I will, um, 
yeah, let's see what you're working on. You can give me some feedback about this. So if you have, like, if you're struggling in your life, anywhere in your life, in any part of your life, whether it's your health, your finances, with relationships, it's going to show up somewhere in your energy field. I'll be able to find it. So questions help me look more specifically at what's going on. But let's just take a peek at what um, this Alcan Trans is working on. <laughs> uh, also heart stuff. Thirdly, so be, you're being really hard on yourself and um, some self judgments. Yeah, a lot of anger and rage turns turned inward. Okay, so let's clear that so you can be kinder to yourself and when this uh, heart chakra is clear and flowing that's how we're able to self-generate love you know love is the answer right everybody well you'll hear that everywhere love is the answer but if we can't self-generate love or we don't didn't even know that it's possible we're of the majority that think you have to go outside of yourself to get love then that that get, can lead to pretty a very empty life because that's not where love is love is here and so we self-generate that love by removing all the debris that's preventing us from having this self-love and then we amplify the love that exists in there so let's um clear that you're also feeling kind of stuck and powerless um maybe a little depressed unmotivated so any feedback would be helpful okay great gets hard to get stuff done when this solar plexus is all congested okay and then let's see what else um and so you're also having a hard time receiving like you're a great giver great at giving but it's hard for you to receive so we're going to bring that energy coming up the left arm of the circle of reciprocity so that you can start receiving uh validation support money, um, rich resources, whatever it is that you need, it's all out there, but you have to allow it to come in. You have to kind of surrender and like, we need to stop controlling everything. Okay. There we go. Okay. Great. Excellent. Okay. So that looks a lot better. Okay, good so some feedback from that would be helpful let us know if you've been struggling and feeling a little powerless um all right other questions let's see what else we have <laughs> you're welcome um okay so z has another question See, squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> Ask a question and I'll answer it. <laughs> okay, Miss Z. Um, another question. The group abundance meditation that I'm doing, I'm noticing that my business is attracting customers. Awesome. And some are going to check out, but not, or they're going to check it out, but not, they're not purchasing. Yes, so um, kind of how you do anything is how you do everything so you notice when I was clearing that circle of reciprocity that you weren't allowing yourself to receive and um, so yeah that's the circle of reciprocity it come for you personally not even the relationship space it only goes up to the elbow so left hand comes up to the elbow and then it stops so you that's where you like this is the measuring stick it comes in halfway <laughs> comes in halfway up to the elbow and then stops like people start to purchase it but then they don't complete it 
So you have to bring the circle all the way in, make sure that it's clear and flowing all the way up to the shoulder, through the heart, back out again. So it's got a circle through the throat, through the six. So as, when it comes to that six chakra, let it stir in there uh, because there's <clears throat> that's where the limiting and lack mindsets are, like all of your doubts and self-judgments, like, oh, maybe they won't like what I'm doing or they won't like my product or whatever it is. Uh, so let's clear that. There you go. Through the crown, through the rings. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks better. Well, I'm glad that you're starting to get some results because um, you've been kind of, you know, inching around the edges here for a while <laughs> and um, the doing this abundance meditation is now starting. <clears throat> you do it, if you do the little stuff long enough, it's eventually going to, you know, catch up. And so that's great. I'm glad you're seeing results. For those of you who want some faster results, there are some other options. So the great way to start is uh, getting a personal uh, vibrational altitude report. And I measure 40 different things. <laughs> okay, great, Z. I measure 40 different things without knowing who you are, knowing anything about you. In fact, the less I know, the better. I don't need to see a picture. I just, you just need to order the report and include your name so I can put that on the report. And um, so then this report uh, will tell you these 40 calibrations, you know, how much martyr, victim, shame, anger, if people are courting to you, do you have outgrown guides, um, on and on and on, fear and so forth. 40 different things, you can ch check it out and see what I measure. And then you know where you are, and I know where you are, and that's the beginning place where anyone would start if they wanted to work with me. Now there are, in this report, I also tell you all the places where the energy is stuck that's creating any lower vibrations. So you could potentially, as a healer, if you have your own healing techniques or something that you use to, um, to do your healing, that you could potentially use all that information to go right to where all the stuck places are and clear it yourself. But um, if you need help, then, you know, there's going to be some options in there on next steps. But that's where everyone starts. It's super helpful. It's a 17-page report, and it comes with a 30-minute chat with me to answer all your questions. So if you haven't done that yet, it's invaluable. And it's worth way more <laughs> than what I'm charging because, um, for me, that's not about the money for that. That's just... Um, it's just to uh, be able to for you for you to know where you are, well, bleh, for you to know where you are energetically. So super helpful and valuable. And if you haven't done that, um, I highly suggest that. Um, thank you, and I love the meditation group. Are you going to do another one? Yes, we are going to do another one. So. Right now, we are um, in the final phase of a four-week process of running our energy every single day for 20 minutes. And um, I was being really generous because I was, first 10 minutes, I was deciding to talk about some other things. So we was a total of 30 minutes. So I tend to do that, I tend to be always giving more than <laughs> being more generous at any rate. And thank you, Roma, says the report is amazing. It, it really is. It's uh, really powerful. And the most common response I get uh, from people is they say that I nailed it. So see if I nail it for you. And it's, it's really powerful, very helpful. Um, but right now we're in the process uh, of the last of the four weeks where this past theme has all been, been about generating rich resources. The next one is starting on 11-11, and it's going to be all about realigning to a new era. 
so if it's going to be after the elections and there's you know going to be a lot of chaos and so forth and so we're going to use the those four weeks preceding that to clear to plant and to um, generate this new era that we're, we're going to be moving into and how to maintain that that energy so it's far more than just learning how to meditate we actually every day we're clearing energy so i walk you through the process every day but i'm in the background clearing all the energies that or helping you clear all the energies that you guys bring to the table every day and so little by little by little your life starts to improve your health these are all the kinds of things that that people are noticing more business um more clients better relationships just feeling more grounded more calm more clear um, intuition increasing so all kinds of things and uh goodness knows after the election we're going to really need to really get into a place that's much more grounded and more stable so it's going to be um feels like perfect timing um as all of these things are and tend to be because i'm just listening to what spirit wants me to do next and so that's the next thing so starting 11 11 uh, november 11th we'll be meeting every day for 20 to 30 minutes learning how to clear these all these energies so super powerful so uh get a look for that i'm just in the process of um fine finalizing all of the details on that any other questions let us see i have not been looking over here on facebook um yeah so roma's been in this uh program and uh so we, i've been coming on earlier and being able to give you 10 minutes of some insight of stuff that i see going on helpful information um, it all adds up after a month of this stuff it's really powerful stuff well if there are no more questions and i don't see um any more new people then start plumbing okay one last person and unless there's another question so I know you haven't asked um, but just by virtue of being here I like to read the new people so that you can get a little bit of insight about what you might be struggling with in your life and why and and does it have to be that way can you do something you know different can it change the answer is yes it can all change because everything that's happening in your life every struggle every challenge every nightmare is energetically something is going on in here that's not aligned that's distorted etc so um let's see what stark plumbing is working on some beliefs um feeling powerless feeling a little powerless um but it, it all starts here so what we think about the most often with the greatest intensity for the longest duration is what we create in our life so give some consideration to what that might be and that's going to give you some clues about why you're creating what you're creating it's starting up here so let's clear those those limiting and lack mindsets in your six chakra that have you thinking that you're powerless and you know law of attraction you might be looking around and going yeah but look i you know i'm struggling <laughs> maybe um we'll get a little peek at some other stuff and see what it's about hmm. okay seven solar plexus third chakra third layer so um this is more of that stuck energy where uh more of that feeling powerless um feeling maybe tired maybe a little depressed and not able to get stuff done uh, so we're just going to help you clear that 
And then um, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then there's also, there's a circle of energy that runs through your arms. And right now, like you've stopped giving. So maybe because all that energy at the solar plexus is congested, you don't have the energy to give. Or maybe you can't manifest to be able to be in that outward giving energy. So um, we're going to help you clear that arm channel. So as it's coming out the right arm. So receiving starts with giving first, giving from the heart. So we're clearing that right arm. And then, so the left arm is completely blocked. Like whatever it is that you're trying to receive in your life, whether it's clients or money or love or support or whatever that thing is, um, it's not coming in because you're blocking it in your left receiving hand and arm. So I'm just going to help you bring that energy up that left arm and then as it comes down through the heart yeah this is and this is where you're making yourself wrong or you know um like maybe things were were really a lot better before but now with covid and all that like things are not what they used to be and it's hard to adjust it's hard to pivot so um and you're making yourself wrong and feeling bad about that. But let's just bring that energy in through the heart. Clearing those limiting or lack mindsets. So that you can start bringing in some receiving. Because it's not about COVID. Because a lot of people are making more money now than they ever have. So it's it's all about how you can pivot and do things differently. And... Okay, see if you're a plumber, you have a, an advantage of a lot of knowledge that people don't have. And if people are staying at home, maybe some instructional videos would be super helpful and getting some exposure or clients that way. And so, um, and you get enough followers, you can start monetizing the channel. I personally have gotten enough clients, I could monetize it, but I personally am not, that's not what I want to do. But so a lot of people are making money on advertising in, in their channel. So that's a whole nother thing you could maybe pivot with. It's all about getting creative. Okay, so all that's changed now. So now your circle is flowing. And um, maybe you could give us some feedback. That would be super helpful. Uh, hey, Pete. Nice to have you on. And yes, I think we did that. We um, cleared, I believe we, we cleared that in your solar plexus. All right, let's see what's going on over here in Facebook land. Hang on. Mm -hmm. We don't want to leave the side. Hang on. Okay, there. So, um, Anne. How do you become more resilient? Hopefully it has a good connection. We have really good Wi-Fi today. Um, so how do you become more resilient? That's a great question. So, uh, which is kind of like bouncing back. How do you bounce back after a uh, hard thing, after a difficult experience, something really challenging? So when your energy field has been affected by something, you have to get back on track by making sure your energy field is clear again. You'll bounce back much faster if everything's flowing. So there might be a belief that once, like some, a lot of people have the belief that they've maybe lost a loved one. And so you have to go through like, years of grief and suffering and and you know f some people hold on to that grief for a really long time but it's it's not necessary so um let's look at where your resilience is kind of stuck and so let's see so in your uh sixth chakra 
So the congest there's some congestion and it's affecting um, the spiritual realm. So there's a belief that like the angels are not with you or God is not with you or the spiritual realm is not supporting you. And so that's not true. Uh, but if you have the belief that you're now all alone and you have to do this on your own, you're not going to feel very resilient. So let's pull in these beliefs here at the sixth chakra that you're all alone in this and you have to do it all by yourself. Okay. Okay, good. Because um, there's a tremendous amount of support around all the time that wants to help you out. And it generally just needs to know what it is you need. What, what, what kind of support and help do you want? How do you want us to help you? They just need to know and then they'll know what to do. So you can all just ask, just ask. You don't have to get on your knees and beg and pray, you know, just ask. That's all you have to do. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. there's also some uh, judgments in your heart where um, you're kind of beating yourself up. You're making yourself wrong. So that's hard to recover from something if you're still making yourself wrong for either causing the thing that happened or um, making yourself wrong on, in, on some level. So let's clear all those judgments out so you can stop beating yourself up <laughs> so you can uh, bounce back. No need to beat yourself up as whatever happened, that was all just information, right? If, if something went haywire, you didn't like how things went, that's all information. So then you now you know, okay, that didn't work. So now let me try something else and see if that works. Or that has a better outcome. Instead of just beating yourself up, I should have known better. I should have blah, 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 blah. That's not helpful energy, right? Okay, so that's one more. Okay, good. And then, um, yeah, and you've stopped giving as well. So, uh, part of bouncing back is um, oftentimes when we can start helping other people, then it takes the focus off of our problems. And when we realize there's people way worse off than where even we're at, that kind of puts things in perspective and it starts shifting the energy. Like we can start helping other people that need our help more and then it, then we're not in that tiny little box kind of feeling sorry for ourselves. So let's clear that circle. There you go. Right arm out in the, so the energy is coming out that right arm now in the left. Great job. So you just needed to know where it was and you just went straight to it and cleared it. So you're very capable of being very resilient. You just need to know where the energies are and or and or how to clear them. So if you're doing that um, meditation, that daily 20 minute meditation, that's a perfect way to become resilient because that's designed to keep all the energy flowing. So that should help. Let's clear the third layer of your aura too. There's a lot of struggle in that. Okay. And uh, let's see. Um, Yeah, the rest looks good. All right. Let's see if we have time for one or two more questions. Erica, great. Nice to have you here. Help with weight issues. It's only in my midsection, which is all about your power center, right? So you're welcome, Anne. Um, so yeah, okay out of your head and into your heart. I do do much for others, hardly anything for myself. Mm. Great. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah, find that meditation. That'll be super helpful. Okay, so let's uh, check Erica and her weight issues. So there's a whole avatar you can run for your uh, ideal body weight. Um, 
let's check. So Erica, you don't have a grounding cord right now. So get grounded. There we go. Okay. And right at the solar plexus, out to that third layer, this is that powerless energy that you're feeling. So this is something you should uh, be checking on a daily basis, whether or not you're really in your power or not. Okay, great. Hmm. Hmm. And then three, two, Front one, two, yeah, more energy at the front of your solar plexus out to that 15th layer. So the 1% is also having an influence on holding your power down. And um, so when, you know, when I think of weight issues, especially if it's all in the belly, that's, that's just energy that hasn't been tapped into. That's just your personal power that hasn't been tapped into yet. Okay, great. And so, and, and then, um, okay, so your circular reciprocity also blocked. At, it comes out the arm a little bit, the right arm, and then it stops. So we want that to flow so you can actually receive um, what you're wanting to create. Okay, let's look at the ideal body weight avatar now. So that also has no grounding cord. So it doesn't feel stable. There we go. Okay, boom, you're fast. There we go. But you just needed to know that. Earth energy. So the 15th layer of your ideal body weight um, is congested at the root out to that 15th layer. So that's that 1% trying to affect how stable you feel in your body. They want everybody to feel off balance. Okay, great. And then seven. So as we come down into the crown, it stops right at the crown. Like you don't have any permission to be in your ideal body weight, whatever that is. And, and you notice I'm not talking about losing weight. Nobody wants to lose anything. So as soon as you start talking about losing weight, your body goes into resistance. So if you're talking more about your ideal body weight, um, that's something that your body can tune into. Well, like what is my ideal body weight? So in this avatar, um, right at the crown, squat to that third layer so you can give yourself permission. You have the power to give yourself permission to step into this space and actually own it. And, uh, you know, put that ideal body weight on. Like that coat. <laughs> so that would mean, probably mean shedding a few things, but okay. So as that's coming in through the crown, six, five, right at the heart, those are all the judgments about your body weight. Okay. So it goes all the way to the 25th layer. So that is also another indication of something else that's going on, which is some armoring. So there's a lot of fear in this space around the heart. So that, that uh, fear of, um, so it's not a fear of being loved, but it is a fear of being unlovable. It goes back to the age of five. So that's when the imprinting started to happen that maybe you're not so lovable. And, um, and, and maybe you started to comfort yourself with food. So this, these are some old ingrained habits. So this is more than just um, not stepping into your power. There's, there's deeper stuff here going on. And this takes, can take a while sometimes to work through some of these deeper lying issues. Four. Okay, great. And then, oh. 
And then the third layer of the aura, that needs a little bit of clearing. Great. So you can step into more of your power with your ideal body weight. Uh, Then the 15th layer, clearing that 1% out of this space. Hmm. Looks like some of others of you on the call are also kind of tapping into this energy um, because that's what happens is I'm working on one person, but the same thing applies to you as well. So you can benefit from what I'm helping somebody else with. Okay, and then the 30th layer, clear that. Okay, awesome. All right. So, uh, great, Erica. So I, I know this is, um, this is, it feels like a, a more of an ongoing um, issue that will need a little more maintenance, a little more diligence, staying um, with that, clearing that avatar on a daily basis so that you can be aligned, step into that space of your ideal body weight. So awesome. We just did, um, we just did the class today on, um, how we can use avatars to heal our body. And one thing I discovered today that I, I did, I'd never done it before is we, um, discovered that of all the different body systems, which is about 12 or 16 of them, um, that the immune system wanted some healing. So we put up an avatar for the immune system, which I thought was really cool. This is something that people can use, especially during the winter, especially during this whole COVID thing and whatever else they might be rolling out. Keep your immune system aligned and in a high vibration viruses don't live in high vibration so um anyway that was pretty interesting we learned something new today all right well i am going to sign off until uh friday where we will be doing friday's inspiration on um guns and your spiritual nature i've spent the last uh four days in uh training here in nevada on how to use, how to safely use uh, handguns, how to use firearms, and so I'm going to be talking about that and some some of my energetic discoveries, some of my input of, about guns, and uh, where I what I used to believe about guns, what I where I'm at now. So um, if you've been curious about this subject yourself, tune in and. Uh, so that'll be at 11, 11 on Friday. So it's going to be all about guns and your spiritual nature. Um, great, Erica. Yes, work on the avatar. Okay, great. So we'll see you guys on Friday. So enjoy the rest of your day and sending much love. Namaste. <laughs>